How you doing today, my friends? Mr. Green here, and uh, I thought I'd catch you up with uh, kind of what I'm working on today. Um, so I still have wait. I have to wait to get the media for the for the grow buckets, uh, all of these buckets. Um, so I'm kind of dealing with uh, some really bad weather right now. It's April 14th out, and we're getting a full-on snow squall. Um, we're supposed to get uh, close to 15, 20 centimeters of snow. So you know, roughly say six inches, maybe a little more than six inches of snow today. Um, you can see it out there. It looks absolutely miserable. Um, I've put this bubble wrap on the, just on half of the greenhouse or on part of the greenhouse, just to try to reflect some of this heat back down here since we're not supposed to get sun for a week. Um, so I'm just trying to keep, uh, I am heating with a, a little propane heater and uh, it's keeping it. Um, Right around 15 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, it's uh, not terribly warm in here, but what can you do? So, um, so what I've done is I've I bought a great big roll of bubble wrap. It's uh, like a foil back stuff. Um, it was uh, 65 feet by 8 feet. So, uh, big roll. Um, it'll get used in other spots in my house too. I got to wrap my hot water tank and a few other things, but. Uh, so I've wrapped uh, the barrel. It's all fully wrapped now. All the tanks are all wrapped. Um, most of the barrels are wrapped. Uh, I've got five more to do here. Um, and that barrel up there has now got a lid and, uh, and it's wrapped. And then I made custom uh, tank lids for each one of the tanks. Uh, this was a recycled piece of plywood for that one. And this one, uh, I picked up some plywood. Uh, so now I have where my inputs come in from the other tanks. Uh, I put a small piece of plexiglass in there just to allow some light into for the fish. Um, I don't know if that's necessary or not, but uh, I figure if I want to take a look at it, which it's always going to be steamy because I wrapped the bottom side. So I built these little doors too, just put a little handle and you can see I wrapped the back side of this board too with bubble wrap. So that... Uh, you know forces all that heat back down into that water um, water's looking pretty clear uh, you can I don't know if you guys can see the fish in there it's hard to tell when I'm watching the video sometimes later on I can see that you guys can actually see that stuff but uh, so yeah very simply done just cut it all out with the uh, with the skill saw uh, and there is a trick to cutting angles with a skill saw you just got to cut little bits at a time and you can cut circles and rounds and all of that stuff with a skill saw but uh, yeah I left the square back because it doesn't need to be cut and it just gives a little more surface area there but uh, yeah so everything is coming along pretty good um, well uh, I'm trying to get the temperature up in the water right now um, so that I can uh, I can start running the system but uh, all I can get out of the, these two little 300 watt uh, fish tank heaters is about 70 Fahrenheit. And that's just in the fish tank. As soon as I start cycling it, it drops way down. Uh, right now, you can see here I'm sitting at uh, 63.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's because I ran the cycle on the system just to try to get this heat around to all the tanks. But uh, uh, on Thursday, I have a thousand watt tank heater coming and it will be controlled off of this and uh, it's meant to heat you know much like I think about 400 gallons or something so it will be able to heat my whole system with no more of this nonsense with these little uh, little tiny heaters so yeah it's uh, waiting for that to come in and then all the rest of the valves so I will uh, I'll pick it up once I uh, get some more stuff down done here and I'll bring you back and we're going to have to fill these full of uh, media here soon and get the plant started. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll, take a, a, I'll show you a quick peek of the uh, seedlings all started. Uh, I have them in my closet right now under a light. Um, I, I eventually will be building uh, right here. There will be a uh, germination box. So that's the plan anyway. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, that's going to be another project. So uh, yeah. Everything's coming along nicely. Just trying to keep up on all the things and the stuff and fall behind on, you know, like I still have some painting to do in here and I want to get that done before I start bringing in plants. But, uh, you know, you can only do so much. 
So, all right, guys. Well, I'll be back here in a little bit, and uh, you guys will see some more stuff that I've got done. Okay, my friends, uh, working on the filter now, um, <clears throat> on both filters, and uh, I went to my local home hardware, go to any, like, store like that, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or anything like that, and uh, these are the barbecue in the barbecue section, and it's Lava Rock, and uh, I did look at a bunch of different options uh, for my tank here. Um, there is, like, the little plastic rings with the holes in them, all that type of stuff and yeah they work but this stuff is really inexpensive I got uh, a seven pound bag for $5.99 so I got five bags that'll be enough to fill or half fill this barrel here which I also have all of this all wrapped in the foil wrap now uh, this is all up and running uh, you can see all the different plants in here red cabbage basil green salad bowl romaine and uh, we have a whole bunch more started upstairs. Um, so the other thing is, do I got new fish lights? Um, <clears throat> and uh, we also did pick up 10 koi too. So I may try to come out later and show you those because in here right now it's so bright that it's really hard to see inside the water. So uh, yeah, and sorry about spinning it around there. Uh, and then there's going to be filter medium in this one too. So that's my next thing to do here uh, right now there's just a netting in here so that's to try to keep or catch a lot of the solids that will still be staying in there um, and I'm going to uh, fill this up with lava rock so all right I will bring you back here in a little bit and uh, we'll uh, start tackling some more projects okay my friends I uh, I changed a few other things um, I was pulling from the bottom of this sump tank here with a three-quarter inch line uh, I wanted a bit more flow, so I changed it all out to inch and a half, came through here, and then down, and all my sediment it collects right in the center of this tank. So um, what I've done is I just drilled a bunch of holes along the bottom and then cut a bunch of slices all the way up on the pipe. Uh, then it comes out to the pump and then back up to here, and then it splits out to my two half inch uh, either way and everything is just you I uh, just use Teflon tape to uh, seal everything up just in case I ever decide to change this again um, but I think this is going to be final for now uh, it looks pretty good um, I just got to go up and pick up my new heater for the tanks right now I'm using two little 300 watt heaters not cutting it um, so I got to go pick them up and then uh, and then I can reinstall all of this so uh, I'll bring you guys back here once I get some more stuff done all right guys and girls we're finally at the point where i have all the taps now thank goodness uh they didn't come in and then the people at our home hardware are just amazing in this town and they went to a different town and picked them all up for me from a different store which is awesome of them so now all 13 buckets all have a valve um yeah the fans i've had to turn on and off today <clears throat> There's still lots of snow outside. It's only two degrees uh, Celsius outside. And it is, well, let's take a look at what temperature it is. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 38 degrees Celsius in here. So it's pretty hot. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much all that's gone on now. Uh, I did get a new heater, um, which is installed back in that corner and I kept the box to show you guys. It's a bucket heater. I'll see if I can find a link online to this. Um, I'm pretty sure I was able to find it on Amazon too. I just ordered it through my home hardware just to support them. But uh, so, and it's controlled from this Inkbird controller here set at 74 degrees. Um, and what a difference. I went from two uh, 300 watt fish tank heaters to this and instant difference. This heated that water from 68 degrees to 74 in a very short amount of time, maybe three hours to heat uh, 500 gallons. So that, that's, pretty, that's pretty good, I think. So, yep, that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, uh, we're gonna go be picking up stone here in the next day or so. So yeah, I'll bring you back then. How are you today, my friends? Mr. Green here and we're 
kind of working away again a little bit continuing on from the last part of the video um, I've now got stone all down inside here to act like a heat mass uh, for at night time so the stone will all heat up and then it helps keep the greenhouse a little bit warmer uh, it's another rainy day out uh, the temperatures have risen now you know into the pluses now which is nice uh, I've got a wicked cold which sucks but what can you do so uh, I've got now all of my buckets all filled all the way along and uh, all filled with immediate not uh, not all filled with plants yet. I still have six more to go with plants. Uh, so right now, got uh, a green bean here. Uh, there's going to be two in this bucket, so there'll be another one beside it. Um, and then, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, okay. And then, uh, so I've what I've done is uh, anybody that's even looked into aquaponics or any of that has found out that these clay pellets are extremely expensive uh, I got uh, the first time I paid $25 for a 10 liter bag these are 19 liter pails so that's half a pail for $25 and then I came across these on Amazon and they're not perfectly round I think they're like you know kind of misfits from the, the order you know when they're making them and uh, I got a 40 liter bag for $50 so that's a much better deal uh, but still ridiculous right like I mean it's a growing media it's shouldn't cost as much to buy your media than it does to you know grow all your plants all year like if you can afford you know $600 in media to fill all these and it you don't eat $600 worth of vegetables in a year then that's just you know a waste of money so what I did is I took uh, river rock and I mixed it about 70% clay to uh, about 25% river rock so you can see there's kind of mixed in river rock in there um, but yeah it's it's it worked out just as good and uh, you know, now I'm getting both the surface area and it's not going to cost as much. Um, I did do a vinegar test on it to make sure that it was, uh, it was okay. Oh, sorry. And, uh, and so now I've got, uh, I've got, uh, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts planted now, uh, yellow beans and so on. And, uh, and now I've also started uh, duckweed which is all in here and that's gonna feed my my fish and now the fish are doing amazing they uh, they get fed about four times a day and they're uh, they're growing like weeds there's a mix of koi and goldfish in there okay so there is a mixture of goldfish and koi in here uh, eventually they will get separated but right now they're just doing great together um, I uh, my all my other uh, vegetables here on the floating rafts are all doing amazing um, I'm having a hard time keeping my pH down uh, I can keep it about just over 7 7.2 but I'm trying to get it down into the 6.5 range and uh, I'm just having no luck so if anybody knows a good organic way of doing it and not lemons or limes because you need beneficial bacteria in your uh, in your aquaponic system and citric acid kills beneficial bacteria so it's I do not want to do that way uh, I uh, I may look into acids and stuff but at the same time I'd rather you know maybe there's something out there you guys let me know but yeah all my salad bowl lettuces and my cabbages and and romaine and and uh, also some red lettuce here so everything is doing really really well uh, I'm quite impressed but uh, so yeah we're coming along I'm gonna probably end this video here so I can get this up for you guys and then I will uh, do another video here shortly when uh, I kinda get a few more things up and going here and uh, you know make sure you subscribe because there'll be lots more aquaponic videos coming and updates and all of that. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody for checking out my videos. And uh, we'll talk to everybody soon. So everybody have a great day.